Vlogmas day 11. It snowed again. It's snowing. Just when we all the snow melted yesterday, it's coming back today. It's about what time is it? 6:30 or 7 o'clock. It's a pretty dreary day because it's still this dark. Okay, I decided not to go out today because I don't want to clean off my car. And so what I've decided to do, maybe I should be putting this on white paper so you can see what I have here. Da, 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 da. I am making the smallest quilt ever. Let's see, which way is right side up? Is that right side up for you? Hmm, yes, I think it is. It's a little snowman quilt. It measures 10 inches by 12 inches, I believe. <laughs> okay, there are 12 blocks. You can see three times three times four is 12 blocks. Here's a block. Well, here are four blocks. I've just started cutting it out. <laughs> four blocks. And they're going to be, we're going to snowball this block. So I have 50, let's see, 48 one by one inch squares, blocks, that I'm going to draw a diagonal from corner to corner and put it on. I'm doing this upside down, so I might not be doing it right. I'm going to stitch it here so that I will have a snowballed block like that. <laughs> It's going to be four, four sides, one, one, two, three, four sides. And then I have buttons. This was a kit. <laughs> Thank goodness. I have snowmen buttons or snowflakes. It's a nice wintry qu kit to make a little teeny, a little teeny quilt that you'd use for a wall hanging that I think is going to be a Christmas gift. So I decided that's what I'm doing today. Am I going to finish that big quilt that I have right over there? No, I don't want to do that today. Am I going to go out and buy food like I'm supposed to? Nope, I'm not going to do that either. Let's see. I'm going to make this quilt. So the first thing I have to do is draw 48 lines, unless I can eyeball that, unless I can eyeball these when I'm sewing. Another trick to do would be to press them in half. Pressing might be better. It'll probably be faster to press than it would be to draw. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to snowball my blocks and then when I'm finished that I'll come back and show it to you. We'll see how long I last. <laughs> okay back again. Today was a bit of a bust. <laughs> Had some company today. Never got to quilt the way I wanted to. I think I'm just going to finish this up for today and call it call it a, a vlog a vlogmas segment. Um, Remember the little quilt I'm working on? Well, I did a little bit, and then someone came over, and then someone else came by. It was my dad who came by the second time, but he always comes by, I, so it wasn't as long a delay, but I did visit with the other. Well, long story short, here we are. Let me let you know what I was doing. Um, you remember the picture of the quilt? Very cute. And um, you make 12 squares, and you border it with a 2-inch border and then you bind it. I'm making mine in blue. I'm going to make a red one too but I, and I have part of the red cut out that's why I didn't get as much done today because I said well while I'm making one I should make two and then it turned into three so I started cutting out three and um, well that's another story let me show you this is what you do to get the cute little snowballed looks like a um, a square on point and a square. But what you do is you take a two inch square like this. This is so funny working in miniature. I don't know if I like it. I've got a couple like this that I want to see if I like working with the small squares. So you take a two inch square and remember we had to cut, I had to cut out all these one inch squares and mark them from corner to corner. Well then the instruction, you can see it in here, it says to snowball the squares. That's what that looks like. That's snowballing a square. 
isn't it appropriate? That, isn't it funny that they call it? Maybe not necessarily appropriate, but funny that in this instance they're calling that this action of putting the squares on the corners is called snowballing. But for this quilt, it's a snowman quilt. So anyway, I have put one of the squares. Here's the one by one on a two by two. Isn't it? Doesn't it look? Doesn't a two inch by two inch look so much bigger than the one you? one inch by one inch. You wouldn't think there'd be such a big difference, but there is. So that was the original line. Whoops. That was the line I drew right there. And then I stitched on it. Then you can finger press it. Like so. Did I bring scissors? I was supposed to bring scissors. Yes, I did. And then it says to cut it with leaving a quarter of an inch seam. I just eyeball it. Cut that. And then you would actually steam it back. And there's one corner snowballed. So now here you can see I've done four. Stitched, 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 stitched. So next I will finger press. I should steam it, but I'm upstairs right now. I don't have an iron up here. I could have my little travel iron, but I didn't bring it up. Snowball, uh, finger press, finger press, and finger press. See how accurate the squares look because you've drawn that line? Well, almost accurate. <laughs> as accurate as they can be. So next you'd be trimming. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. And quarter inch. Whoa, almost cut that one right off. I was checking my lighting. This one's a little crooked. Okay. So now you would you would go to you would press it and then you square it to two inches by two inches. It should be pretty close. I've got a grid here, so without it being pressed. Because it's me, it's never exactly two by two. But this is pretty good. Can you see? Two inches by two inches. You press it, and by pressing these seam allowances backwards like this, you do get a little bit more, a little bit more yardage because it's not quite pressed flat. Okay? That being said, um, and then, look at how cute. I brought these little snowmen up. I have snowmen and snowflakes, but won't that be adorable to stitch that into the middle of the block? I just love it. And you only have to make 12 of these. You have to make a heck of a lot of these, but I didn't cut these one inch by one inch out one by one. I cut a strip of one in, a one inch strip by width of fabric, which is 42 inches, then I folded it in four put it down and then I cut at one inch intervals so I would make four four blocks at a time and cutting across I think from my first strip I got around 34 or 36 blocks I was told to cut I think 54 no I had to cut initially told me to cut 54 one inch squares there are 12 squares. You need 48 to snowball the squares, but you'll notice you have some, um, what they call, I don't know if they're called cornerstones when they're in the middle, <laughs> but I think anything that m makes two sashes meet is a cornerstone. So I did um, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. That's where the 54 inches comes in. So, um, fun. And you, you, this is a good way to learn the concepts of quilting without having to have this huge project that you're working on. The other thing that you could do is you could sit and do these by hand at night watching television or something because they're tiny for people who like to hand stitch because in the old days all, all the quilts were all hand stitched. So that's as far as I got with this. I got some of my box I got some of my quilt blocks stitched so I brought a couple up here to show you what they would look like. I don't want to lose these buttons. Um, they came with this little kit. So um, 
yeah so I'm gonna call it quits for today vlogmas for today will be done I have to start making sure Molly's gonna be squared away because tomorrow she's going for her teeth cleaning but it's actually surgery and I'm not looking forward to having that big lump taken off her head the vet's pretty sure it's a cyst but if there's an option for biopsy I think I'm gonna do it what the heck just to know if it's something good or something bad so that's it for tonight I'll s I didn't go out. I never left the house. These people were very um, um, daring to come out today. Well, my father always goes out. Most people were out in it. I just never cleaned my car. I never went anywhere. I don't know. If I don't have to go out, I'm not going to. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good Wednesday evening. Bye now.